In this video I'll show you guys quickly uh, a before and after and also how to uh, clean a uh, laser from a disc player, so CD player. It doesn't play MP3s and actually it doesn't really fancy 700 megabyte discs. Right, so the modern type it really doesn't like. It uh, much prefers the 650 megabyte ones, which this one is. So um, yeah, let's. Uh, so now it's uncleaned. Let's see how much it takes to play. All right, and now let's go to the last track, so right on the edge. Not looking good. All right, so that took quite a while. So let's now unplug it. And uh, what you want to do is get a flathead screwdriver, something uh, decently sized, let's say, and try to have one that's not been used and abused too much. So something that has a relatively soft edges, right? And then you have your microfiber cloth. Uh, microfiber cloth. I like to put this, uh, fold this in two, and then I'm pretty sure I'm not going to scratch the laser, right? It's not going to. The screwdriver is not going to poke through. And then you want to put the highest concentration alcohol on it. So this is 99.99 some shit, I don't know, probably quite a bit, right? It's a very pure alcohol, so this just rubs off, just evaporates away, doesn't leave any residues. And then what you want to do is, see if I can uh, angle this properly before my alcohol evaporates. So. Right, so you can see how quickly this goes away. All right, so um, let's see. Basically, want to go ahead and simply rub it up with the screwdriver. It's pretty hard to actually might go handheld for this one. Huh? So with the flat bit, just. You don't need to be too careful. And now with the edge, you can go all around the periphery. Especially this one should be a high quality module, so I'm not too afraid of damaging it. You want to be reasonable. I'm actually applying quite a bit of force. And just to seal the deal, you can also use some canned air. Just in case there's anything else in there. Also, again, try to not tip this over. So, Let's see how I could do this best. Try from a different angle. Pretty much all. So now let's uh, put you guys back up here. And let's see how um, how this behaves now. Plug in our tiny little speaker and the power. Right now I'll have to put the code in, so I'll speed this up. Okay, so moment of truth. Let's see what we did. Probably. Busted the diode completely, but let's see. So I would say this is a bit quicker, and now last track. And now random track in the middle. So yeah, that is pretty much what I'm talking about. Pretty much all you have to do, right? And I, I don't know. I'm, I'm making this video because I saw quite, 
quite a few weird videos online on this, right? So initially I was like, yeah, maybe let's see what other people do. Nah, dude, just so fucking clean the lens and you're done. I'm not sure if the blowing of the the canned air does anything. I'm quite skeptical about that because usually you get this fine haze depositing on the, right, from smoke and from smog and, and all that crap. You don't actually get dust on it. This particular model is pretty stupid because it has um, it has some holes right here. So very close, the laser goes on this trajectory, so that's pretty stupid. I'm actually putting the code label on uh, on there just to help mitigate that. But anyway, if you have a disc in here, it should be better for this particular radio. This is, by the way, I'm not sure I said it, is a uh, Audio 10 CD uh, MF2910 Alpine. Alright, have a good one, guys.